Welcome to the WD-168. God gives us 168 hours every week. This is our take on this 168 from the Western Diocese. We're coming to you one week after the agreement which ended the war. Analysis has been followed by even more analysis to the point of paralysis. They should have called for international. Oh, no, 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 no. You see, the parliament didn't have it right. Oh, well, you know. I could have told you all of this was going to happen. You see, I knew about it a couple of years ago when they read, yep, unbelievable. We just finished the war and already we've got the answers. Sitting in the nice comfort of our overpriced homes, driving our exotic cars and sipping on coffee that we'd be embarrassed to tell grandma what we paid for. Analysis and more analysis leading to paralysis. We're paralyzed. Look, there are over 100,000 displaced people, human beings, children, widows, orphans, severely maimed and scared men and women coming from the front lines of battle in a war that they were forced into, not to mention the tens of thousands who have been psychologically and emotionally traumatized by the bombs dropping from buzzing drones, the witnessing of human life reduced to rubble, and the horrendous acts, the atrocities imposed upon us by the Azeris. And did I mention all this while the world looked and shook their head? Yeah, this like when people pass by Jesus hanging on the cross, wagging their fingers and shaking their heads. In the same way, people just looked at Artsakh, wagged their fingers and shook their head and said, this is horrible, pitiful, making the sign of the cross and said, God help these poor people. Am I describing the reality of the aftermath of the war? And now, we should have, could have, and finger pointing, they, them. Yep, analysis leading to paralysis. Paralyzed and stuck with the nice little sound bites, we were the first Christian nation. The Western Diocese refuses to be paralyzed. With the leadership of our primate, Archbishop Hovnan Derderian, we're moving from paralysis to work by starting a new humanitarian initiative in collaboration with the Department of the Social Services of the Mother See of Holy Etchmiadzin. Yes, that's right. The same people who have been next to our people for millennia. The mission of our endeavor is to provide support to families displaced as a result of the war in Artsakh. Clean and simple, shelter, food, and medicine. An ad hoc committee of clergy and laity are making arrangements for collection during these very difficult times of economic crisis, the ongoing pandemic and in the aftermath of war. Sirpazan called a special meeting with all the clergy of the diocese to meet with Council General of the Armenia, Armen Baiburtian, and take a positive step toward relieving the pain and find permanent solutions. Detailed information about this humanitarian initiative will follow in the next few days, but check out our website. Unity is our greatest weapon against any assailant. Throughout the diocese, our primate has instructed churches and communities to work together and in harmony with all community members toward all of our goals and bring peace to our homeland and to our souls. From church pulpits, priests have been sharing this message. At the cathedral last Sunday, Father Manuk Markarian took an extra moment to call for prayers for our martyred military members and for those displaced by the war. And he went on to call for vera tarna, vera norokelye, vera lusavorel. That is to return, renew, and re-illuminate. Certainly a call to the Christian message of hope. The holidays are upon us, and certainly with all that is happening, it gives us reason to ask, what shall we celebrate? How can we celebrate? And the answer is no farther than the faith that brings us together. That is the message of compassion and care for one another as articulated by Jesus Christ. A unique holiday season is upon us, and we have a unique way of celebrating. Our Bridging Generations group, the Deacons Council, In Issues Ministry, all are active in making this one of the most meaningful and spiritually fulfilling seasons for everyone. Check out our unique holiday guide on our website and on our Facebook page. 
from alternative holiday meals to a thousand balloon launch to toy drives for children and to children's memorial. This next few weeks will be filled with activities and events that allow the love of God, the love of God that has been placed into our hearts to shine. Check it out and get involved. We end with a sad note just in the passing of His Eminence Archbishop Sebu Chuljan, the primate of Gugart. Sebu Sirpazan was instrumental in bringing relief to thousands of displaced and traumatized people following the Armenian earthquake several decades ago. Within our diocese, we had sister city, sister church programs, and even a unique sister camp program. We will truly miss Sebu Sirpazan and his passion for people and the Holy Church. May God rest his soul and grant comfort to all of us. We look forward to seeing you again next week in church, online, and of course here on the 168 as we look at that 168 from the WD. Music